my name is Fatima Isabel, uh, but my original name was Isabel, so I just put Fatima, and I didn't, didn't take Isabel because it was um, my father would give me this name, so I didn't want to dishonor our, also my father. So I, I joined the two names, and I think it was more become more beautiful, Fatima, uh, beauty of Lady Fatima, and Isabel because of my father. Uh, what I remember from my childhood, uh, my background was very poor, and uh, basically poor neighborhoods, uh, gangsters, uh, you name it, everything down, women's of life, uh, drugs. Uh, but my father was one person that was come out from all that uh, people and um, he was very honest. He had two jobs and he, he, he was not a person of uh, cheating or he was very an example for uh, other people. So he, he was very famous uh, around people who know him for his honesty, his truthfulness. Uh, I have one brother only, and uh, it was a very close relationship, but uh, even close relationship, we are quite different from each other. Like water and uh, olive oil, so we are we have different personalities because my, my brother just follow whatever other people s saying for you do and I was all time wonder what is behind the the things what is the sense of this being like this what so I was more adventure and curious of the sense of life even since child I was more uh, how I can explain I was like to observe the, the, the human behavior, animal behavior, at, at nature. I, was, I observe everything for learning why happen like this, why we behave like this. In Portugal, 99% uh, they are Catholics, uh, they, and then from the Catholics, uh, like 20%, 30% take they practice the religion, and uh, then the rest they don't practice. They just uh, practice in the, the like Christmas, Easter. This is uh, when they practice the religion and church, like once a year or so when someone dies, was like a funny background and. Basically, it was like this, but uh, like 50% they believe in Fatima because we have Fatima there in Portugal due to a um, miracle that happened there in 1917. Uh, and other 50% they say, no, don't, she never existed. But um, we are uh, descendants from, uh, I believe, from North Africa, Muslims from North Africa. And so we are mixed backgrounds. <laughs> And so the, the beliefs are uh, always quite confused. Uh, like my grandmother, she was practicing, uh, but my mom, uh, she was not practicing at all, and grandfather, nothing. My father, it, I didn't know that if he was Christian, Catholic, whatever, I'd, I'd never know what was his religion. He never told about. So it was a no. He was very mysterious. So was quite confused, but we, church was just once a year, and my grandmother she tried to put me in the church, but I was just bow when I get in, um, bow in the church, but I never make the the sign of the Trinity like the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I didn't, I never believe on that. So the church was quite uh, upset with me. So, <laughs> but I was truthful, like I don't believe on this. Like I was no, I, I I was believe in God, but I didn't believe in what they say about. It was quite like miss some piece of puzzle. I I didn't know how to pray, because and I, I never nobody told me how to pray. Uh, but I was basically making what Muslims say, du'as. I was talking with God, 
was not uh, basically, I don't know how to pray like as a Catholic, uh, funny way. <laughs> but I know how to ask, speak with God and ask things to him and with quite questions I had, uh, majority of the questions that I had talking to God, all my questions were answered one way or another one. The God gave the answers, but just we need to have the eyes open for see. And uh, I want to see the answer. And majority of the times I see the answer. One beginning I was in England, I didn't have money for it. And uh, I was like kind of at night, I didn't have, like, uh, I was desperate, like, I don't know what I'm going to eat, what I'm going to do next, tomorrow. And I said, God, please help me in some way. Some way. And uh, what happened the next day is, I generally I don't let nobody get close to me. And someone come to me and hug me and say, generally I go to that street and I find money. And the person, I follow, like, I obey the person completely. I don't know why. And I go to that street and I find 10 pounds. So it was a kind of answer that God gave me. But I don't know who is that person. And, but like, it's like I was knowing that person, but I didn't know. I was quite confused to explain, like, mysterious ways. God give all the time the answer. Uh, when I come to London, I come basically for work for my personal reasons. Uh, but then I like, I want to, to go my back home because I was scared and uh, I didn't have nothing here. I didn't know to speak the language. Uh, but basically it was, I think for me it was sign of God, like God want I come to, to England. Otherwise if I continue to stay in my country, uh, I never become Muslim. So it was quite, very difficult times, but I, I win all the, the, the challenge. I pass for all the challenge and uh, I get stronger. Uh, in Portugal, uh, what I know about Islam was uh, in the media and uh, scare me. Scare me and I see the, the, the woman with hijab and they say they are oppressed and uh, the men beat on her and then uh, it was what the media was saying, and I say, poor ladies, they don't have either, even the right to, to think, to choose whatever they want to do or dress. They are oppressed. And I was thinking that they were the oppressed, and I was the free woman. And later on, I find out that I was oppressed, and they are the free women. So it's a quite a different <laughs> point of view. This is the difficult part. Uh, uh, what I, in 2012, I, I see some couple of, um, I, I don't want to, like Muslims brothers, uh, Sunni brothers and sisters, uh, they are talking about Islam, but I never believe, like something that was missing peace. Uh, and then I, I have like this talking about the Ramadan and and it was in that time in, in July in Ramadan time uh, I have a dream my first dream and as I dream with one white lion double of me and around me was black wolves with red eyes and the lion was protecting me and after like this dream, past two years, uh, was when I start to develop a little bit more uh, here in UK. And I go to an interview of job at that time in 2014. And in the, in the bus, I was passing by the, the Islamic Center around like in, in one, one bus passed there near, and I was living two hours away from Islamic Center, so I was in that bus, and I have a feeling that my heart start to, like, was a call. It was like someone was calling me. 
I don't know how to explain something quite more spiritual uh, call. Like something was calling me for a long time, it was the missing piece that I was looking for. And I look and I see the, 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 the Islamic Center, but I was in the bus, I cannot stop. And because I was going to interview, I cannot arrive late. And after a few days, I, I was trying to look for the, the place again that Honestly, I was not remember where, but I was kept, uh, going to a couple of mosques around London, and my heart was saying, no, it's not here, no, it's not here. And uh, it was one day I find the mosque, and my heart said, yes, it's here. <laughs> like, I have to be here. And when I arrived there, I was so scared, and I have that idea that, wow, they are going to kill me, or... Uh, <laughs> They're going to lock me out here, and but I have like courage and the get in and start to talk. Even I didn't know what I should like, what I should, what I'm doing here, like what I want to ask. Like, okay, I want to know about Islam and is what uh, how I start to to introduce myself to to Islam. And um, then pass like this, nobody there. So they send me there again, and I go again, and uh, finally someone give me uh, some, some uh, like, how I can say, let me know a little bit, and uh, pass uh, uh, other few, more few days, I have a second dream with the same lion was um, the same line was uh, I was at one house full of black wolves with red eyes and the house was dark and the only way out is one door and I was very scared in the dream of course and I find courage and I go uh, for that door and the lion was there and I feel scared and I give one step back and like no I'll give go, go ahead with and when I get out of the door, I write Allah Akbar. Even before I know I be Muslim, or I know the, the letters, the alphabet. And the lion go with me, and each step I was giving uh, come flowers, because the place before was a desert, and then after become a garden. And uh, uh, with this one, I decide like, yes, she is here, uh, uh, is this place, the this, part of Islam that I want to be, is my house. Like I feel like I was at home, like I was long time in journey and finally arrived home. It was like this, my conversion to Islam. Oh, yeah, it was uh, then we was like the beginning of a journey. Like what I'm going to do is like, what what is my idea of doing the things? Uh, what I'm putting about, uh, what, what I'm putting through. Uh, I go to Islamic Center and I make my, shari, uh, my shahada. And I was very shy and like, oh my gosh, everybody is going to look at me. And then they put me in, in the, uh, it was the birthday of Lady Fatima. And they put me there like near to other ladies and it was like, Oh my gosh, uh, like, these are the wolves, I'm so scared, like, it was very scary moments, and after a while, uh, a few months, was necessary a few months for I get used to, to the idea of hijab, I know that I have to wear, but I didn't know that uh, I have to be like so quickly. And nobody pressed me for it, wear hijab so quickly, but uh, at that times I was in difficult times, and uh, so I, I, I decided the house where I live, nobody believe in Islam, and they they have proper hate Islam, and so how I was explained to people in the house that I was Muslim, so I decided to find my own house and uh, get courage to put my first hijab. <laughs>